Hi and welcome to my video on performance analysis with Webpack Bundle Analyzer. You can find the article version of this video over at alligator.io. Essentially what this is going to allow us to do is look at our final Webpack Bundle and see things which we can take out of that bundle to improve the bundle size. So I've gone ahead and I've created a standard Angular project. As you can see here, it says, welcome to Angular Bundle Analysis. And inside of our app, we simply have an app component, a routing module, and of course, an app module. So in this circumstance, we can imagine our bundle is going to be very small because there's nothing in the production bundle at this point other than Angular and a few other things. But if we started to add more things to the project, so let's open up the terminal and we can add things like npm install moment. We also might want Firebase. So these are two projects which we can add using npm install and then add them to the project and see the impact that it would make on our final build. So let's navigate over to the package.json. And inside of here, where we have this build script, we want to add a dash dash stats dash json. So this will build the final project in the dist folder with a stats.json. And we can pass this stats.json into our bundle analyzer and start this process. So let's save the file and then run npm run build. Now at this moment, we've added Firebase and Moment to the project, but we haven't actually imported them. So we won't see them in the final bundle. So if you look at the main bundle at this moment, it's 10.3 kilobytes. So quite small, and we'll see the impact of that as time goes on. Let's now run npm install webpack-bundle-analyzer and we'll add that as a dev dependency with dash D, and we can make a new script. That script can be called analyze, and it can run webpack bundle analyzer, and we'll point that to the dist slash angular bundle analysis, and then it will be slash stats.json. So just to show you how we found that, you can see in the dist folder, we have the angular bundle analysis, and then we have our stats.json. And this is a really large file. The next step at this point is to run npm run analyze, and this will start our bundle analysis, and we can drag this a bit further on the screen. And if we look here on screen, we can see that the biggest thing is the vendor.js in 3.02 megabytes. Our main.js is down here, and that's 4.23 kilobytes. But primarily this is because it's a development build. Watch what happens now when we add dash dash prod to the mix. So this should be when you're building for production. And we run npm run build once more. And then if we do an analysis on the new build, we don't really see much else because at this stage it's taken out all of the node modules because we aren't using them. So let's import some modules into our project. Let's head over to app component and import the moment library like so. And we can also import Firebase. Inside of the constructor, we can make a time equal to moment.utc. We can also set a Firebase config. And then we can say firebase.initialize app with that Firebase config. Let's go ahead now and run npm run build. Now that this runs a production build, it will also give us the stats. It's now using Firebase and Moment, and we're doing it in a bad way to pull in everything from Firebase and everything from Moment. So this is going to make our main.js bundle bigger. You can see that our main.js bundle is now 1.34 megabytes, and that's because it includes the vendor. We could then run npm run analyze. So now if we look at our production bundle, we can see that it contains Firebase, it contains Firestore, Auth, Database, as well as Moment Locale and Moment.js. This means we're pulling in many more dependencies than we actually need. Let's look at how we can solve this with something like the Firebase dependency. 
So if you head back over to the project and we import everything as Firebase from Firebase app instead, but this time instead of importing it as Firebase, we can import initialize app. We can then just take the initialize app like so. We can initialize the Firebase config and we can run npm run build once more. This will build it for production, but hopefully we'll have a smaller bundle which doesn't include the database, the authentication, Firestore, and so on. You can see already that main is now only 632 kilobytes, but before it was 1.32 meg. And if we run npm run analyze, we can now see that the biggest thing inside of our bundle is the moment locale. We are including Firebase, and this time it's much smaller. And the next thing that we might end up doing after that is removing the moment locales that we don't use in production. For example, it's not likely that we need every single one of these locales. We may just be using a particular subset. So that's how we can investigate our bundle. We can make some changes to our app to maybe use tree shaking or import only the specific things that we need. And then we can see the results of that on screen using the Webpack Bundle Analyzer. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated. And of course, I'd love to see what you think of this inside of the comments section below.